Losing a baby through stillbirth or miscarriage is traumatic. It's hard for dads to deal with the loss and see their partner going through the physical and emotional pain too. Many dads feel like they should be the strong one, but that doesn't mean they have to be or that they should go through it alone. Here's some of our experiences. Uh, we were having a great pregnancy. Everything was going really well. Both our kids were involved. And then we went for a scan and we were given the devastating news that the baby's heart had stopped. I've ever cried as much in my entire life over something. I can't even begin to explain. We gave birth to the most beautiful little angel that we could have imagined and it was just so heartbreaking to be able to have him there for a couple of hours to say our goodbyes and then and then leave. We had two early miscarriages followed by a third which was a bit more of a later miscarriage after the first trimester. This was obviously on the day that we, we had the miscarriage. We were left alone um, for some time together in that moment and then just the two pictures are above of when we had the service in the funeral. So once you get a, that, that pregnancy sign, you start planning your life. You start imagining this whole world with this new little human being. And when you have that taken away from you, it hurts. Each pregnancy loss was as hard as the last one. Um, but I think it was slightly different because we did get to hold him and spend time with him. But they have all been just as hard and horrific. Um, I wasn't supportive towards my wife. I wasn't supportive towards myself. Um, I was very distant and I think that was probably my coping mechanism which is very out of character for me. And anyone that knows me knows I cry at anything. <laughs> but, X Factor. <laughs> yeah, but I had to be strong from that because the way I felt that everybody else was seeing me was I had to be her pillar. I, I mean like the general NHS and things like that, there was no support offered to me personally. The midwives gave us little memory boxes and inside was a card from a charity called Simba. It helped us a lot to gather little, just little trinkets and me mementos and scan pictures for us to look through and remember Aspen. I personally believe a man should feel however he wants to feel. If he wants to cry, you go ahead and cry. It doesn't make you any less of a man, it makes you human. Um. I think generally for us it did make us stronger but it is a obviously difficult emotional load that you're both trying to deal with so it's just knowing what space each other needs and when they need more support than each other and kind of just trying to understand that whole process of emotions for everybody but I think we came out of it stronger in the long run definitely. I and my partner have never really grieved about it properly. We never really spoke about the loss. We never felt emotionally what we needed to. We kind of both bottled it below the surface and hoped it went away. Don't build things up yourself. Don't grieve yourself. You're not going through this yourself. You're going through it with your partner. You need to share the grief. If you go through it yourself, you're just going to cut yourself up into ribbons. All the visitors to the house, all the well-wishers, it was all directed towards Natalie. Which I, I didn't mind at the time, but it would just be nice for someone to ask, how am I? The two earlier miscarriages were kind of just, we were told that, okay, there's no heartbeat, so you will have a miscarriage at home, and you were just kind of left to deal with it. And we didn't know what to expect with the later miscarriage that it was basically an induced labor. And until it happened, we didn't really know <laughs> that's what it was going to be. Just talk about it. Talk about the what you had imagined. Talk about who you'd hoped this child would have been. Talk about the relationship you had envisaged and admit how you're feeling. It's okay not to be okay. Don't feel any less of a man or any less of a husband or partner. It's your loss just as much as the wife's loss or your partner's loss. I think there's a lot more people that go through this kind of thing than actually talk about it. And I think obviously the more people that talk about it, then the more support and more comfort there will be.